Traffic is back to normal on I-75 south near Bonnie Oaks after one person is killed in a morning truck accident. New tonight, police have identified the victim as Kenneth Mills. News Channel 9's Drew Balea has been covering this story since it happened. He has more details. A morning wreck on I-75 South kills the driver of this semi and also injures several others involved in that crash. I'm very upset. Sheldon Baker says he was worried about his daughter. I got a call from my daughter earlier this morning. She was involved in this traffic accident. His daughter was on her way to work when the crash happened near the Bunny Oaks exit on I-75 South. The 18-wheeler, for some reason, came off the road and centered the guardrail and um, ended up where it is. The driver of the semi, hauling some dirt, died at the scene. Two others got some bumps and bruises from pieces of the truck that scattered in the road. Baker's daughter told him what she saw. The car swerved in front of her, and when that car swerved, a set of tires come up in front of her. Baker says his anxiety and worry subsided when he was able to get to his daughter. First, of course, I hugged her, made sure she was okay, and told her not to worry about the vehicle or anything. Just as long as she's okay, that's all that matters. The semi-driver's death is the 26th death on a Chattanooga road this year. That's one more than all of 2014. Our priority is to, to investigate the fatality properly. Uh, TDOT's priority is to get the interstates open and when we work together with them. Traffic on I-75 was shut down for more than two hours this morning, but has since reopened. In Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. Beth Newhoff will have a look at how your current traffic conditions are looking in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, police are still investigating what caused the tractor trailer to hit the guardrail.